Hi, my name is Alana. Um, I've been playing soccer for 11 years now, and to me, it's my life. And so my normal week consists of training four or five times a week, plus a game on the weekend, and obviously school every day. So having to balance both of them can be difficult, but if you get the right support around you and you time it well, I think you can get it done. So my football journey started when I was four years old in the backyard with my brother and I just fell in love with it. So the following year when I was five I joined the local club at Bandura and played there up until I was 12 and then got asked to trial at NTC which is the Victorian team for my age group and then started there when I was 12 and did really well and I've been there ever since. Um, obviously I've had a few challenges in my footballing career because it's never a smooth sail. Um, having a few injuries that I've had to deal with emotionally as well as physically has been hard but I believe that once you get a setback you come back stronger so having those setbacks you learn from them and I think they're a great way to help you and I think you need them in your career. Besides challenges I think your family and friends keep you grounded with all their love and support I think they help you out a lot and without them you wouldn't be able to get through it. So I think your family and friends is a really big part of your footballing and without them I wouldn't be able to get where I am today. I think coaches have been a major part in my support network because you have so many coaches in your career and you can go back to them for support when you need and they always know the right thing to do, which is a big help. I think some of the girls in my team, like my closest friends, they inspire me as well because we're all so different even though we're the same. Um, I think they inspire me a lot and drive me to work even harder because you need to work hard for your team, obviously. Um, filming the kick series with um, Dean and the film guy Paul was a great experience. I think it's helped me not only with media trainings, but we've made lifelong friends and doing it with some of my teammates and going through my journey was a great experience for me and I loved every minute of it. Greatest achievement would have to be starting for my country and walking out and um, listening to the anthem and just like feeling that moment. I don't think anything beats it. Just being able to play for your country and represent something so amazing. Um, my ultimate goal would be to play for the senior Matildas as well as in the W League. Um, to get there, obviously, I'm going to have to work hard and keep doing what I'm doing and staying dedicated. Um, obviously, I want to not only play football, I want to study. For my footballing, I really want to make the 2023 World Cup and hopefully play in that and hopefully it's in Australia on home grounds and that will be a dream come true. Um, I'm very humbled to be able to be a role model for young girls. Um, I never saw myself coming like this. Advice for young girls would be to just love the game and have fun. I think that's the main thing for girls. I think we just need to have fun and obviously you need the hard work and dedication, but without the love, you can't pursue anything in it. So just have fun and I'll be here for any support if they need it.